Hey everybody, welcome back to BK's Bullets. As always, I'm your host, Brent Casino, and today we're going to look at this JLA Avengers trade paperback from way back when. Hey everybody, and welcome back to BK's Bullets. Uh, I just wanted to pull out this JLA Avengers trade paperback because there is that Hero Initiative one coming out in a few weeks. And I was like, man, I really want that Heroes Initiative copy, but I do already have my own copy of JLA Avengers. I picked this up back in 2000 and must have been 2005. I was in college um, and just picked it up. Never thought anything of it. I think I've read it once. Um, copyright 2008. Okay, there you go. Introductions, copyright 2004. So, I, yeah, it was probably end of college I picked this up. But, um, this has never been reprinted since. Like, this is, they had the Absolute Edition that came out, uh, and they had this trade paperback that came out, and they've only been printed once because of the, I don't know if it's beef per se between DC and Marvel, but just the big corporations. I mean, I think this was at a time, this is definitely before Disney bought Marvel, so there was more of a, um, you know, more of a, a camaraderie or friendship or whatever, less corporate parents getting in the way in terms of doing collaborations like this. Like, I remember when this was coming out, like, Wizard was on fire with just covering this thing, or um, before it came out talking about the first time George Perez tried, tried to write it, or not write it, but draw it and start it up and stuff like that, so... The fact that this happened at all is um, a huge testament to what whoever these people at the companies at the time went through to get it done. And um, the fact that they're reprinting it now, this is not the reprint, again, this is the original one, but they're reprinting 7,000 copies of this masterpiece uh, to benefit the Hero Initiative and I guess to honor George Perez because he does have uh, some terminal cancer now. Um, but this is, this is, I mean, th between this and Crisis on Infinite Earths, I think this is the best work of his life. Um, he just put everything into here. And just flipping through these pages, there are just ins an insane amount of details. Like, this is the best George Prez has ever looked, I think. Um, but I'm not a huge George Perez fan, so don't don't take my word for it necessarily. Talk to somebody who's crazy about George Perez. I appreciate him. I think he's a fantastic artist. He definitely has a classic art style from the 80s and 90s that you know he did evolve to translate into more modern comic books and stuff like that. And you know he certainly can make anything work. I mean, look at this Kyle Rayner costume from the time when he was in the JLA. Uh, this is after Green Lantern 150, I believe, with the Jim Lee redesign. So that's in here. Uh, and he, he makes stuff work. And you have all these... I, I read this. <laughs> you have all these weird cosmic beings. And I remember reading this for the first time. Uh, I think the only time I've read it before. Not really knowing who anybody was. Um, I did... I think I read Crisis on Infinite Earth, so I knew what the hand meant here. Um... And I don't know if I knew who this guy was, if that's the Collector or the Guardian. All these weird cosmic forces from the different universes. Didn't really understand what was going on, but um, when I reread it now, you know, in a, in a little bit here, I'll probably understand more of what's going on now that I have, like, more years of familiarity of, you know, these characters and stuff. But I remember at the time being, like, skipping over the cosmic stuff and being like, all right, let's get back to our heroes here. But this is a really fun series, really, really cool, and good luck to anybody trying to get that reprint. Um, if they only ever reprint 7,000 copies, that'll be a, a triumph and a tra travesty. Mainly because I think that JLA Avengers is such a phenomenal work and such a great, fun comic book that you really could make this. Both companies could make this an evergreen. You know, um, and I think the idea of it benefiting the hero initiative, maybe, you know, is it possible to reach some agreement to print this book every year as an evergreen? And maybe you print, maybe you print 7,000 copies every year. 
and um, and you know not do a new cover or anything because there's not I don't know if there's that much art to make new covers out of that George has done. Um, but you could make it an evergreen and have it benefit the hero initiative every year as a fundraiser. Like that's not a terrible idea because then you would let generations upon generations read this story, read this masterwork from George Perez. You know, Kurt Busiek did the writing, honestly. He was, uh, I think they were just finishing up their Avengers run at the time over at Marvel after the Heroes Reborn era or had finished it and then decided to reteam for this. But there's great stuff in here. I mean, you just have that moment with um, Superman picking up the Yolner and the shield. They're yelling Avengers assemble. Like, there's just phenomenal, phenomenal stuff in here. Man, oh man. But yeah, like, I, I really think it's a triumph that they're reprinting it at all after they haven't reprinted it in many, many years. But I, it's a travesty that they're only reprinting 7,000 copies. I know they were probably rushing it to get it to print um, and get it out there, before, you know, get something in George's hands before he passes away or whatever, but I think they should keep this in print. This should be something that everybody should have access to and not be a legendary thing. Because you know people are just going to turn that stuff around on the on the secondary market on eBay and just, you know, destroy it, uh, you know, because people are willing to pay all this money for these copies, you know. Um, look at what this goes for now. Good luck finding it. Yeah, this is the cover to number four. Gorgeous cover. And this is the cover to number three. I'm, I'm, <laughs> there's a Comic Geek Speak podcast, I believe, where they go through every member on these two pages. And George decided to draw every member of the JLA ever at the time and every member of the Avengers ever at the time onto one cover. So this is that massive two-page spread. That was the cover to JLA Avengers number three. You got guys up here like Thunderstrike, Kilowog, I guess he was a JLA member at the time, like, or not at the time, but at one time. You got Captain Marvel, Nightwing, Spider-Woman, Black Lightning, Red Tornado, Human Torch, a version of Hawkman, Zoriel from the Morrison years. Um, I think there's another version of Hawkman up here in the in the spread. Here's another version of Thor. What is this guy? Black that's Black Condor. All these different guys are in here. But yeah, you could just pour over this. The Invisible Woman is invisible. You got all the speedsters lined up here. The two flashes and then Jay Garrick Flash, and then look over here, you got Quicksilver over here, and you got a different Dark Flash or whatever that guy was from the Wade run. So you got the two arrows back to back. I mean, look at this beautiful cover. It's wonderful. Man, oh man. But yeah, like, this is really something. You should really leave this. Really leave this in print. This should be a, an evergreen that goes on to benefit the Hero Initiative. Um, every year they should do that every year and not just one time but uh, yeah so if you've never seen JLA Avengers now you've seen some of it so there you go yeah I bought this for $20 back in 2008 when I was in college and um, it's held up pretty good I guess because it's only been read once and sat on my bookshelf but man oh man so I'm happy to own a copy it is not for sale um, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous book. So if you do get your hands on the Hero Initiative one, if you're able to snag a pre-order from your comic shop, if you do end up getting it, good luck to you. Um, that version does have all of this in here as well as an additional 60 pages of extra content. Um, I'm not sure if that's brand new stuff or if it's stuff from maybe the Absolute Edition or something like that, but um, that's gonna be a, a good find if you can find it. So um, yeah, I was interested in picking it up until I read that there's only going to be 7,000 copies. But, hey, I'm not in charge here. So there you go. JLA Avengers, if you haven't seen it, you've seen it now. And uh, just a celebration of life for George Perez. And, um, you know, I hope the rest of his days are happy. He's posting the happiest things on Facebook. Just always smiling, always being visited by friends and family. Um, that's... If there was ever a way to go out, it's it's the way that he's doing it right now. And it's an example to us all and how even in the darkest of times, you can still live your life with hope and peace and be happy. 
Um, so there you have that. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know down below what you think of JLA Avengers. If you are going to be able to snag one for retail price from your local comic shop or uh, what they're doing. I know a bunch of them are doing some auctions to benefit the Hero Initiative with the copies that they do get. Things like that. So let me know down below what your plans are to try and get one. Uh, and um, you know, what's your budget limit? Tell me that if you're going to an auction or something like that. Let me know down below in the comments. And we'll see you guys next time in the Funny Pages.